it's a part of being competitive, that's something that I haven't really known much else. Um, and probably for me, being a prem baby, uh, to me that's always been my way of <laughs> kind of working things out. And that I was very determined from a very, very young age in terms of everything that I set about you know, wanting to do. So whether that's ambition or whether that's competitive or what it is, it's just been part of me since I was born. So you think you came packaged that way? I think so. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know, other than yourself? I think, um, I, well, rather than just one person, kind of a range of people, and I think that, um, you know, throughout my family, particularly my great-grandmother, um, highly ambitious woman, um, Jewish woman, uh, owned a business, lots of businesses in New Zealand, kind of not long after the turn of the century, so it was quite unique, had several husbands, um, had a very, very clear uh, vision for herself and her family and what she wanted to do with all of that, probably a bit controlling, um, but just in terms of when I've reflected back on her and her life and what she achieved, um, I've saw that kind of bucket of ambition <laughs> um, kind of sprinkled all over the place, yeah. Is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious? I don't, I, I don't think so. I don't think it's a matter of um, wanting to be anything. It's just a is. It's a way of being. It's a way of looking at things. And I think if we go back to that first question about what does ambition mean, I don't see an ambition as being uh, pushing people out of the road or stepping on people. It's just more your inner drive, certainly for me. And does that mean that I want things? Not necessarily. I want discovery, I want to explore, I'm curious, I want to know. So it's a whole different frame from um, how I see others think and describe ambition. Do you have any views on how ambition is viewed in New Zealand? I, well, probably misunderstood in terms of you know, what it is, because in some cases when something wonderful happens, whether it's an individual or a group, people say, wow, that was really ambitious, it was great, it was not it fantastic? If, on the other hand, if it hasn't worked out so well or the individual hasn't performed as they should, uh, it's seen as a, a negative, like ambitious, but actually doing the wrong things. Or So I think, you know, there's, uh, words are really difficult and challenging, and yes, words do matter, but I think we've all got our own, you know, framework for how we see them and how we understand it.